Hey guys, after too much teasing, Google has at last taken the wraps from Android 4.4 KitKat. The KitKat to the Android OS brings some visual changes, including more immersive graphics, as well as deeper integration with Google's intelligent assistant, Google Now, along with some other changes and improvements. So let's see some of the important features of Android 4.4 KitKat. The first one I am going to discuss here is user interface. Most of the interface has been streamlined. It has new transition effects and now offers full screen wallpapers with preview. And the wallpapers now extend through the notification tray as well, in addition to the navigation buttons. The new OS brings a more immersive experience by hiding the status bar and navigation bar when the user is reading a book or playing a game or watching a movie. You can just swipe the edge of the screen to bring back the status bar and navigation bar buttons on KitKat. The quick settings notification menu toggles also add a location settings toggle. So you can get direct access to, the, to your location settings. Android 4.4 KitKat will also show full screen album and movie art if the content is being streamed to another device such as Chromecast. So the second one I am going to discuss here is new color ID and trailer. So the whole UI has changed and a few useful features has been added to the dialer app. An improved color ID for calls from numbers not listed in the user's contacts. Android 4.4 will look for matches from business to the local listing on Google Maps and even displays the related pictures. So the third one on the list is Hangouts messaging app. Android 4.4 brings a new unified messaging app with Hangouts getting SMS and MMS integration. Hangouts now also allows users to share their location and send animated GIF files. So the fourth one here is Smart Google Now integration. A feature first showcased in Motorola's Moto X find its way into the native Android. Just say OK Google to activate the phone without touching it. Google Now can be launched by simply swiping to the left instead of swiping from the bottom. It's not clear if the feature would reach other Android 4.4 devices. So the fifth one here is enhances support for connectivity options. Android 4.4 also brings support for the message access profile that is nothing but MAP enabling Bluetooth enabled cars to exchange messages with Android devices. Android 4.4 KitKat also introduces platform support for built-in IR blasters. This means IR blaster present in the S4 and the HTC One will now be useful. Android 4.4 also supports Wi-Fi tunnel direct link setup that is TDLS, a way to stream media and other data fostered between devices already connected on the same Wi-Fi network. The sixth one on the list is better support for cloud printing. Users will now be able to print photos, documents and web pages from their phone or tablet through any printer connected to Google Cloud Print, HP Print Printers and via other printers that have apps in the Google Play Store. Users can discover available printers, change paper sizes, choose specific images to print and print almost any kind of document, image or file. The seventh one on the list is screen recording. Android 4.4 offers support for screen recording and includes a screen recording utility that lets users capture video as they use the device and store it as an mp4 file. This allows developers, reviewers and end users to create walkthroughs and tutorials for apps, testing materials and marketing videos and other things. So these are the 7 most exciting features that I found in the new OS. Android 4.4 KitKat will soon be available for the Nexus 4, Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel guys. So that's it for now. It's goodbye.